Hi, I'm Calm Wright, and I'm terrified of death. But more importantly, it's transfer deadline day. It's a bit of a weird analogy. <laughs> we have a lot of business to do. Hence, the yellow tie, in case you couldn't work that one out. And if you couldn't, well, shame on you. But this is my first time on Football Manager 2022 doing a video like this, focusing on just transfer deadline day. It's a lovely new feature they've added in. I don't know why I've not done it yet. But if you could please, to give me some encouragement, leave a like on the video down below and subscribe because we all know that more exposure will lead to more signings, higher reputation. Thank you very, very much. And let's get stuck into the business. Business. Once I've shown you the results since we last played. So, you last saw us win 2-0 against Brighton. Prior to that, beating Leeds 3-2. Since then, things not been quite so good. We got absolutely pumped by Liverpool. That's no big deal. Liverpool are fantastic. It was at Anfield and you know as well as I that Scotland, my Scotland anyway, terrible when not at Hampden. Steve Clark's brilliant when not at Hampden. Yeah, then we lost 1-0 to Lucas Zhao and Reading in the FA Cup. Not my proudest moment. We should have done a lot better than we did. A lot of the key players fe featured. We did rotate a little bit, but Kenny McLean and Stuart Armstrong coming in should have been absolutely fine. Alas, no. Then, a 3-1 loss to Chelsea compiled my misery as we were back at Hamden. We actually played rather well against them. And, yes, we, we, we somehow came away out getting absolutely gubbed. Not very happy about it, but we did bounce back. 2-0 win against Aston Villa. Turns out Stuart Armstrong, his hair is fine. He does score belters all the time. They were right. And a 4-1 win against Leeds. Ollie McBurney scored twice and I'd agreed to sell him. Lyndon Dykes got injured. He did that. So I don't know what to do now and it's concerning me that I might consider not selling him. How can you after that? But without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Oh, there we go. The yellow tie, all this yellow matching. Jim White would be very, very proud. So far, we are currently in for just Lawrence Shankland. However, I am considering making moves for David Turnbull and Calvin Ramsey. Definitely not just for the clicks on that last one. David Turnbull, we tried to make a move for him later or earlier on in the window turned us down so that was fantastic but I'm hoping that we can make something happen or happen on the final day of the window because well lots of things happen I'm considering selling Ryan Jack because he barely has played for us because he's always injured so that's not ideal whatsoever Jacob Brown as well if Shanklin comes in and we're keeping McBurney someone's got to go Jacob well it's probably gonna be you I call every three games not bad goings by any means, but he's just not featured by it for us, and he's not particularly good, so I apologise, I really do. James Forrest possibly going out on loan as well, not playing wingers, so what's the point, essentially? Hmm, I've revealed something there, you have to stay tuned until the next episode to find out. And likewise, if Ramsey does come in, heck he might go out on loan, he's barely played as well, when he has played, not been very good for us. Whether that's more down to him or me, well, I'll let you decide. But I think I know what you're going to say. So, let's king th kick things off by making a move for David Turnbull. I don't know if anyone else is really available. Maybe I'll go and get Ryan Fredericks instead of Calvin Ramsey. Um, I'm not really sure. But David Turnbull, apparently worth that. Celtic accepted less than that last time. This is the deal that they accepted last time. I'm going to try and go in again with it and hope for the best. It will use 10 million of the budget, but we'll see how it goes, right? It's unacceptable. What is acceptable then, Glasgow Celtic? You let me know, right? How about that? More installments because, well, hmm, we're not going to be playing that far anyway. So is it cheating? Maybe, but we'll see how this goes. We'll bump this up as well. There's got to be an easier way of doing this. Um, not particularly. Okay, just bear with me. I can't even see how much I've done now. Went past it. Brilliant. That's good. Uh, and you get a million quid, mate, if you do more than that. How about that? Let's make that offer. Send it off to them and see how that goes. Are there any other 
decent Scottish players available on deadline day. Calvin Ramsey there. I, Elliot Anderson, don't really want him. Apparently a ball winning midfielder. That is absolute poppycock. So we're not having that. Fucking Tory cut. Who, what about not interested in the transfer? Ryan Fredericks apparently not even interested. He's now playing for Celtic, so he's absolutely loving the Scottish nature. Mm, well, okay, that's bizarre. Calvin Ramsey, let's send an offer in for this man. 7.75 is what they want. We're going to lowball them to start off with. They accepted this in real life, uh, just up front with... Well, we're not having that then. Okay, Calvin Ramsey probably not going to come into the door unless we can sell players. Ryan Jack, let's get him offered out. We're not going to get that much for him. Five million. It's deadline day after all. This is absolute carnage. Let's see if anyone comes back to us with that. How long to go? God knows. Jacob Brown, yes. Get out the door. 3.7 million. That's not going to happen. We'll take three. Should probably start off at 3.7 and see what happens. This could either be a disaster or absolutely fantastic video footage. I'm not sure about what's going to happen. Lots of offers coming in for Aaron Hickey. Well, right now, no need to accept them because, well, we won't be getting Ryan Fredericks or Calvin Ramsey. So things stay as they are for now. Turnbull, a deal is willing to be discussed from Celtic. They are offering me absolutely no money for James Forrest. That is useless. Anyone want to buy him? Anyone want to buy him at all? Let's see. We'll find out, shall we? Not going to be many cuts in this video. I'm going to need to lie down after it. That's ridiculous and out of order. Bloody hell. Can we get more money? More money? Is that is that allowed? Can we get can we get some can can No, okay. Mm, not good whatsoever. 35 million. That seems a little bit out of order. How about 12 million up front? Right, that's a decent chunk of our budget. You make get some decent money right now. That's also out of order. Let's take that down to 1.5. Okay, then. Hmm. How about that? They're not too keen on it. How about they want that much? We're not going to be here. It doesn't matter. 12. Have I paid over the odds for David Turnbull? He's not in yet, but he's has doubts. He wants to be a star player, important player. Star player. Okay, well, mm. we've been backed into a corner there, David. Not happy about it at all. Uh, 70 grand a week. Let's see if you'll take that. We're not giving you that much money for signing on. Goodness me, he is a greedy, greedy, selfish boy, isn't he? You've eaten five pancakes to yourself. You're a greedy, selfish boy. Well, this is the offer we're going to go back with for David Turnbull. How does he like them apples? Not so much. Still wanting huge... Percentages of sell-ons as well, which is not great. Um, bring that down. 75 grand. Willing to go with that. Seems ridiculous for David Turnbull. I know. But, well, we need some more options in the middle of the park. Because things not been going so great for us. And he is absolutely fantastic on the face of it. Relegation release clause. Zero. We're not getting relegated. Doesn't matter. Thank you. David Turnbull. Maybe coming to Scotland. We'll soon find out. Um speculation about Ollie McBurney. I don't really want to talk about him right now because I still don't know what I'm going to do. Which is, you know, ideal, isn't it? Turnbull, is this stupid? Yes, is my answer. But guess what? Don't give a toss. He's in the door. Welcome, David Turnbull. How good is he actually? Shankland, as well. Forgot about him, kind of. Um, do we bring him in? Do we need to? I mean, there's not been much fun on the whole Jacob Brown kind of thing. Um, his transfer value is massive. Okay, he is. Lo he, there's lots of green in there, and I'm excited about all those player traits. So, David Turnbull, welcome aboard. Decent for Celtic so far this season. Thank you very much. Um, anyone interested in Jacob Campbell at all? We can't have five strikers in here. Where is he? He's down here, so that's... It's never reassuring when he's a striker and he can equally play wing-back quite well, is it? Sorry, Jacob. Anyone want him? Aberdeen? What, Birmingham want him? What about... Take 2.5. 2.5. Um, Lawrence Shankland. Can't delay it, so... On the face of it, Shankland, not very good. However, good heading. Exactly what we want. Alternative to Lyndon Dykes. Except... Finishing, fantastic. Composure, good. Great determination. Anticipation, 
loose balls in the box. That's what you want. Off the ball movement, fantastic. Physically, not great. But need a goal, bring him on. No problem. Lawrence Shankland, welcome aboard. Um, he's going out on loan now. Okay, this is absolute carnage. Sorry, thank you, James Forrest. Goodbye, James Forrest. Ten hours to go. I think now, any other... Nobody wants Jacob Brown. Why does nobody want Jacob Brown? Anyone want Brown? Jacob Brown. Yeah, okay, because he's terrible. Um, anyone want to take him off our wage bill, at least? In fact, no, we're going to give him one more go. Two million quid. Jacob Brown going once, going twice. Sold to nobody. Fantastic. This is going well. Ten hours to go and it's been carnage already. Um, so they are willing to pay 350 grand for him. Would you take, would you take 350 grand? Would you, would you take 350 grand for him? 1.5 million. Anyone, any takers on um, 1.5 Million. Uh, we have loads of money left. Oh no, I should have said that. I should have said we got none. Now people will want loads of money from us if we want to try and sign anyone else. Oh, good God. Um, I'll continue spending. Yes, of course I will. Deadline date. Yes, of course I'm capitalising. Right, anyone want to come in on loan? Matt Ritchie. He's kind of Scottish, isn't he? Kind of. Um, anyone listed for a loan? That's any use. Oh, Connor McLennan. What are we bringing? We're bringing Conor McLean in. Yeah, no, that's a no. Um, Ollie Shaw. Oh, God, the list isn't good, is it? I mean, he's not much better than Conor McLean. Um, anyone actually just interested in coming on, in on loan? Our wage budget, by the way, in the bin. That's not good. That's what happened when you pay David Turnbull 75 grand a week. Uh, Stephen Welsh? No. Um, you know who would be ideal as a right sided centre back? Yeah, would be good, wouldn't he? Um, uh, yeah, we're going to Rangers though, so that's no use at all. Now, looking at the two, between Calvin Ramsey and Aaron Hickey, not much between them. However, his crossing is better and we rely a lot on crossing. Great technique, fantastic passing and good vision too. Do we, can we loan him? Can we loan him? Uh, no, no we can't, and we basically would have to pay 11 million. 11 million we don't actually have at all, so if um, anyone wants to buy Jacob Brown, Jacob Brown, uh, do we sell McBurney? I mean, it's only a couple million quid, how much have we got? Well, we're not going to make that up to sign Ramsey, are we? Oh, good God. Uh, any of the centre-backs? Worth considering selling. Cooper's actually been pretty good for us. Nobody wants any of them. We're in a bin right now. And it, by the way, David Marshall had to reject a bid from Liverpool for him. Not sure why I rejected it. Should have got rid of him. But regardless, here we are. I have totally forgot about the fact we're meant to be trying to sell Ryan Jack, though. Four million quid. Ryan Jack. Thoughts? Anyone? Anyone at all? Ryan Jack. Four million quid. If we could get up to eight million quid. For him and Jacob Brown, that would be ideal. And we could maybe... Nobody's buying them, though. This isn't great. We could then maybe somehow get the funds to bring in Ramsey. Right, one million, Jacob Brown. Come on, surely someone's going to bite on that. For goodness sake! <laughs> I'm getting bored! Alex Rutley, uh, keep him about the place. I mean, be as well. Uh, he's going to progress better here than he is at Hamilton. But regardless, five hours to go, and I'm stressing out a little bit because I really, really, really want Calvin Ramsey. Not happening as of yet, which is nobody's wanting them. I don't think we're going to get Calvin Ramsey, ladies and gentlemen. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, and we're not going to get much money for Alex Lowry either if he goes out alone. But tell you what, he is. Uh, accept and give all. Yeah, that'll do. Nathan Patterson's apparently been bidded for on loan, rejected immediately. It's not looking good, is it? Not looking good at all. Um, mm, we could try and get sort something for Calvin Ramsey. Um, will Aaron Hickey stay? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing. No shit, Sherlock. Um, just ask if they'll sign Calvin Ramsey for me, because we don't have enough money. Rob Hallett said yes. He absolutely loves the kid. It would not like that. Um... Okay, let's see if that happens. Calvin Ramsey maybe coming in. Aaron Hickey? Anyone want Aaron Hickey on loan then? We'll see what we can do, shall we? Uh, all of his wages, pay that, important player. 
We'll have that as well. Anyone else want him? Anyone else? Calvin Ra This could happen. Ramsey rejects Scotland. They didn't offer him good enough all of this stuff. What did they offer him? 11.5 million. Ask for Ramsey loan back. This is absolute carnage. I don't want to loan him out now. Calvin Ramsey. Can I make that offer then if they'll not? Right, okay. I won't be able to do it though, will I? I really, I really won't be able to do it. It's not, not interested. Right, I don't know how long we've got left, but um, a loan with the option to buy. We can't, we can offer him 190 quid a week. Jesus Christ, this is shambolic. Uh, at least we've signed Lawrence Shankland and not been able to offload uh, Jacob Brown then, innit? We should probably get him on, out on loan. We're not going to be able to sell him. Uh, we've got 900 centre midfielders and Aaron Hickey's not going to go anywhere either. Get him out on loan. Right, okay. Sorry, Jacob. It's been a blast. Goodbye. You are going. Two hours remaining. I mean, it's unlikely. Motherwell said no. Right, we've actually had bids for him. Fantastic. Oh, nobody's wanting to pay any money. Um, apart from Stoke. You want to go back to Stoke, mate? You go back to Stoke. You go back to Stoke. Fine by me. Other than that, anyone else can sod off. Oh, hard man. Because not paying his wages. We could be here for a while. Um, there's a lot of offers. And Rangers have got the cheat to cut Buddy come back for Nathan Patterson after they barely used him in his time there. What is going on? Two hours ago, this is the deadline day you've all been wanting to see, isn't it? Jacob Brown joining Stoke on loan. Where he came from. Who he plays for in real life. So... I'm sure this will really bring new viewers into the, um... Into into the into the into the channel. That's it done. We've spunked money on David Turnbull. Too much money on David Turnbull. He's very good though. And we've signed Lawrence Shanklin. Two players I could have selected at the very start had I not been an idiot. And three players have left on loan. So make of that what you will. If you've somehow enjoyed whatever this was, this absolute chaos and the yellow tie, of course. Please do let me know by leaving a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe for more utter nonsense to come in future. I guarantee you won't want to miss it. There's plenty more to come. And comment down below. Let me know what you think of my transfer business. I am going to end this now before I get any more criticism. Thank you.